You mentioned Big Dog. Can you can we maybe take a stroll through the history of Boston Dynamics? Uh, so, what and who is Big Dog? By the way, is who? <laughs> do you try not to anthropomorphize the robots? Do you try not to? Do you try to remember that they're? This is like the division I have because I for me it's impossible. For me, there's a magic to the to the being that is a robot. It is not human, but it is. It, the the same magic uh, that a living being has when it moves about the world I, is there in the robot. So um, I don't know what question I'm asking, but uh, should I say what or who, I guess? Who is Big Dog? What is Big Dog? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll say to address the meta question, we don't try to draw hard lines around it being an it or a him or a her. Um, it's okay, right? People, I think part of the magic of these kinds of machines is by nature of their organic movement of the of their dynamics we tend to want to identify with them we we tend to look at them and, and sort of attribute maybe feeling to that because we've only seen things that move like this that were alive and so um this is an opportunity it means that you could have a feelings for a machine and you know people have feelings for their cars you know they get attracted to them attached to them so that's inherently could be a good thing as long as we manage what that interaction is so we don't put strong boundaries around this and ultimately think it's a benefit but it's also can be um, a bit of a curse because i think people look at these machines and they attribute a level of intelligence that the machines don't have why because again They've seen things move like this that were living beings, mm -hmm. which are intelligent. And so they want to attribute intelligence to the robots that isn't appropriate yet, even though they move like an intelligent being. But you try to acknowledge that the anthropomorphization is there and try to, first of all, acknowledge that it's there. And have and a little fun with it. Have you know, our, our most, most recent video, it's just kind of fun, you know, mm -hmm. to 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 look at the robot. We started off the, the video with Atlas um, kind of looking around for where the bag of tools was because the guy up on the scaffolding says, send me some tools. And mm -hmm. Atlas has to kind of look around yeah. and see where they are. And there's a little personality there that is fun, it's entertaining, it makes our jobs interesting. And I think in the long run can enhance interaction between humans and robots that in a way that isn't available to machines that don't move that way.